Ready? Matt Fitzpatrick, two under 68. Matt, what was working well out there today? Uh, just just drove it really well. Uh, early doors and just a couple of loose ones coming in. But uh, on the whole, we're just really pleased with the way I drove it and um, hold some really good putts today as well. Can you remember a time when you maybe came into a tournament with this many expectations and then kind of evaluate how you played under those? Yeah, it's, it's different. I think... Um, for me, I've tried to have no expectations coming into this week. I, I just want to enjoy the week. Uh, having obviously played so well here nine years ago, um, I've got great memories of the place. And, uh, I, you know, the whole time I've been out, it, it's, I see shots that I hit. I see the places I was. And um, I think because of that, I'm sort of a bit more at, at ease. Um, and I, I'm not. I'm just trying not to put any pressure on myself. It's, it's a golf course. I know I can do well round and um, I'm just trying to enjoy it and I sort of enjoyed playing with DJ and Webb as well today and, and that was uh, it was nice Dan we've made a ton of the US amateur and all the parallels and it seems like the crowd knows the storyline too do you feel a little bit of extra support here compared to other stops in the states yeah a hundred percent a hundred percent it's um, you know since since I got here Monday it's, it's been the same deal and um, everyone out here in Boston I love being in Boston and, and everyone sort of in the crowd has sort of made me feel very welcome as well from from when I was here nine years ago so um, it definitely feels in a strange way a little bit more like a home game um, which is obviously nice um, but yeah I definitely uh, noticed that support how would you compare the way the course is playing and the setup to US Opens in recent years US Opens or yeah. uh, I mean for me you know I feel like a few of them few of them vary. I think, stupid it sounds, the grass type makes a huge difference. I, I feel like last last year you look at Tory when you're on the Kikuyu, it's, um, it, to me, that it didn't really feel like a US Open because it never really got firm and fast. The greens got firm, but the fairways couldn't get firm. Uh, I feel like this place by Sunday could be really, really firm and fast. And, and I, that's what, in my opinion, US Opens are all about. Um, there's a premium on driving and, and I feel like, I definitely feel like that's the, um, the deal with this golf course, you know, you got to put yourself in position off off the tee to, to give yourself a chance uh, going into the greens. We're going to stay on the right with Brentley. Do you have any specific strategies for kind of blocking out like extra pressure or calming your mind before big tournaments? Or um, not really. I think, if I'm honest, I think you know, I've obviously played well at the PGA. Uh, it was obviously a new experience for me, so that was a learning learning sort of. Um, it was a learning experience. I think. This one's different, and it's kind of um, in a ni in a nice way. In that, like, I've played well around here before, so it's kind of almost telling me there's n absolutely no reason why I can't do it again. And and um, you know, on paper, my game's way better than I was nine years ago. Um, so I feel like I just have that confidence that I can turn it around. You know, you go through a bad spell of holes, you can. I, I, I know. I feel like I can turn it around. So. I feel like when you've not played a golf course or not had necessarily good experiences at a golf course before, um, or it's a new one, you don't have that, and it's kind of easy to get away from you and get down on yourself. But you know, here, like I said all week, it's I've got great memories of the place, and um, I feel like I, I know I can have success. And you, you, you said you enjoyed playing with Webb and uh, Dustin today. Did, does it get awkward at all? I guess. No, oh. no. DJ still DJ. Um, you know, it's. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy playing with DJ. He's, he's a great guy and he's, um, you know, he compliments you on good shots, which is more than some players do. And, and he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, in my opinion, he's a down to earth guy. Is he the same guy inside the ropes as he is maybe in front of the mic? For I would us say or? so, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Michael. You Thank you, Julie. Um, you know, we see, we see it every week on the PJ Tour, especially at the PJ Championship. It's a march to 72 holes. You know, you've played one great round, now you've got three more to go. Do you think there's something magical or special about just 72 holes? As in a, It's been around for a long time. You're you talking about the format? The format, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, I think um, 72 holes, like you say, it's more of a marathon. I, I do believe that it brings out the best golfers. Uh, I really, I think when you play in a major championship, that's what you want. When you play in the biggest events, the players, Went BMW, Wentworth, PGA, those big events that you know everyone wants to win. I feel like the 72 holes brings out the best players. Um, regular tour events, though, could they do with a shake-up? I mean, sure, 
more match play, maybe more team stuff. It, it would be more enjoyable. Uh, I think it would be more interesting for people to watch. But I think when it comes to the big big tournaments like this, I think 72 holes stroke play is, you know, it's, it's where it's at. I've sometimes wondered how many majors Tiger might have won had it been had they be four day ninety hole events with thirty six hole finals. You know, and only separate them more probably. Exactly. You know, I think uh, for him, he's he's just played the game with so much patience over the years, and that's probably why he's had so much success success in them. I, I think it's very easy to start chasing when you sort of drop a few shots, or you know, you're not making any moves up the leaderboard. It's rather than kind of letting it come to you. Um, so I think for me, it's sort of it's been a learning curve and it's just about being more and more patient as as weeks go on and um hopefully sort of you know let everyone come back and and sort of you slowly pick up shots very good thank you right here to keith success obviously helps but what is it about this place that suits you i think the tight fairways uh the tight fairways is is a big deal um you know there there is just a a, a premium on driving accuracy and um I think from there it's, um, and I think you've got to plot your way around here. You know, I do think you have to think about it. Um, if I look back at Wingfoot, obviously I didn't play very well. I, I feel like I'm a different player then than I am now. Um, but Wingfoot was, you know, you didn't really have to think much about it. It was driver, all the holes kind of looked the same. Uh, it was driver everywhere as far as you can hit it and then, you know, wedge it on or whatever. Um, whereas here I feel feel like there is a lot of drivers but you know you're then going into the greens you can't miss on the left side because the slope is so severe and you've got no shot um you might could decide to play to a corner on 18 with three wood or you just take it a bit further with driver it's i just think it gives you plenty of options and things to think about um around this place thanks for your time matt good luck Thank tomorrow you. thanks